It's probably not the Valmiki Ramayana so much as the Krittivas Ramayana, which is the dominant Ramayana in Bengali tradition, in, in poetic narration. In fact, Prithibas' text is called Sriram Pachali. Pachali is, is, is a middle Bengali form of poetic text that is usually recited and, and sung to tune. So when you have the entire Bengali Ramayana tradition, which is the performative kind, and you find that the first image that Chitra Prasad begins with is a, 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 an image which has Ramayana in Bangla script written, but Valmiki sits there with a, with a Tanpura. And you see this underscore that he's talking about this very localized, commonplace, performative tradition which is now being invoked into the visual tradition once again. So he instilled this into the minds of the children right from the beginning that this is a Ramayana with a very specific kind of a shade that he wants to, them to comprehend. Not the kind of the classical Sanskritist, um, the, the serious kind of it, but the more approachable kind. Chitra Prasad has been working on the medium called Lino Cuts, which is a printmaking medium, one of the easiest of the kind, but also difficult in another sense of the image possibilities of using just a single color, if I may put it, black against the white of the, of the paper. Uh, for not only the Ramayan, but also several other pictures uh, for quite some time before he actually came up to the Ramayan. And yes, he is by now a master of using black and white. So it's no great uh, mystery that he's able to create uh, tones in terms of his characters, etc., and contrast them so brilliantly uh, using black and white. So yes, uh, a Ram being a darker toned and a Lakshman being lighter toned uh, in that play, or even with Ram and Sita, the play of colors, etc., that he brings into his uh, kind of art practice when he's doing these Lino cuts is not such a surprise. Then when you see that the, the image and the text were being thought to work together, and you find that the, the text is in the same medium of cutting into linoleum and taking a surface print in black, pure black, no other colors. And it goes with the same with the pictures, which is also cut into linoleum and taken a printer taken with black. Then you find him thinking about the page as a whole, as a design. He's thinking of book design per page so that the text and the image coexist and work with each other together. Art has to move you. Uh, the prime purpose of art is to document. Uh, there are periods of time uh, that it reflects, uh, but there is a greater truth that art is a quest of and for. And I think Chitu Prasad's journey in his entire life uh, was reflecting that truth. And I think working towards that Ramayana, etc., and seeking that truth and telling a parable that is a parable for all times to come was an absolute act of faith for him.